very nice. Yes, very nice. Pretty soon I'm going to have to start having sex with three or four women at the same time and wearing velvet. It's this thing guys with beards do. I wouldn't expect you to understandings. Today, we answer the questions. Why is the sky blue? Welcome to the gradual report, where we gradually report. Well, I'd say it has something to do with the first caveman looking up at the sky and going, Buh, buh, blue, 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 blue. Oh, you meant scientifically Speaking, I see. Well, scientifically speaking, light comes from the big vagina in the sky that earthlings like to call the sun. Light is the child of the vag in the sky, and it travels in waves, a lot like sound and teenage angst. Different colors of light have different frequency in their waves, and these different frequencies distinguish colors within the light spectra. At one end of the spectra, you have red. At the other end of the spectra, you have violet. When light comes shooting out of the sun and floating perfectly straight towards the earth, it encounters the atmosphere. The atmosphere is 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and 1% other shit. Other shit including pollen, dust, and spriket 24. The gases only absorb a certain frequency, and that frequency happens to be blue. Once the gas molecules are all charged up with blue light, they start to radiate it. Radiating it into a thousand million different directions, filling the sky with blue light. Thus, making... This guy's blue. Ah. Ah. This process is called the Rayleigh scattering. <laughs> because in the 1870s, Lord John Rayleigh made up this silly shit. Final summation, the sky is blue because I say it is. And some guy made up some scientific shit that kind of explains it sort of. So I guess I'll see you little droplets of light spectra tomorrow, where we continue our important work.